Protesters across America have taken to the streets every day since the killing of George Floyd on May 25th. And today, President Trump took his first steps toward police reform. Skylar Henry has the latest from the White House. President Trump declared he's the law and order president, even as he signed an executive order encouraging new standards for police reform. We must improve accountability, increase transparency, and invest more resources in police training, recruiting, and community engagement. The order encourages police departments to collect and track excessive force complaints. It has incentives for police to update their training certifications, and it employs mental health professionals to work with police to respond to some incidents. As part of this new credentialing process, chokeholds will be banned, except if an officer's life is at risk. The president also met privately with African-American families impacted by police brutality or racially motivated civilian violence, including the family of Ahmaud Arbery, who was gunned down while jogging in Georgia. President Trump says he will work with Congress on additional reform legislation being worked on on Capitol Hill. The House is expected to vote on its legislation next week, but the Senate is not expected to vote on its bill until next month. The popular anger over long-simmering issues of police brutality and racial justice has reached the tipping point. There is no reason to wait. There is no reason to delay. Senator Tim Scott, who will unveil the Senate GOP plan tomorrow, says it's a mistake to wait until after the 4th of July to vote on the legislation. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Massachusetts was represented at the White House today. Right there on the left of your screen, Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson. He was among other law enforcement officials at today's Rose Garden ceremony.